the Big Bang theory has become less valid with the new discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope. Recently, a groundbreaking discovery was made that could revolutionize physics as we know it. The telescope's latest image has sparked intense discussions and surprised experts, ending much of the speculation around the universe. This visually stunning discovery challenges our previous understanding and could change the way we perceive the cosmos. Experts are now debating how this new image reshapes our views, especially when it comes to understanding the universe's age and its rate of expansion. The findings challenge long-held theories and open doors to new possibilities, forcing the scientific community to confront deeper questions about the fabric of the universe and its origins. As we analyze this new data, it becomes evident that our previous assumptions might not be enough to explain everything we observe in the cosmos. The image from the Webb Space Telescope is not just a snapshot. It's a clue to unraveling some of the deepest mysteries of space and time itself. For generations, scientists have struggled to answer these fundamental questions. Cosmologists seek to understand the universe's origins, its workings, its evolution, and its eventual fate. In the past century, Remarkable progress has been made in this field, particularly through the Big Bang Theory, which suggests that the universe has been expanding for around 13.8 billion years, starting from an incredibly hot and dense state. To measure this expansion, scientists use the Hubble constant, which indicates the rate of the universe's growth. However, accurately determining this constant is not simple, as there are two primary methods, local measurements and measurements from the early universe. Local measurements rely on observing nearby stars and galaxies, while early universe measurements are based on the study of cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB. The problem arises because the values obtained from these two methods don't align, which has led to a so-called Hubble tension in the scientific community. This discrepancy has confounded scientists for decades and remains one of the most pressing challenges in modern cosmology raising the possibility of new physics that we have yet to uncover. To calculate the Hubble constant, astronomers rely on space objects such as stars and type IA supernovae, which act as standard candles due to their consistent brightness. By measuring the distance to these objects, they can estimate how fast the universe is expanding. Additionally, scientists look at the early universe by studying the cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB which was discovered in the 1960s as the afterglow of the Big Bang. By examining the tiny temperature fluctuations in the CMB, astronomers can calculate the universe's age and expansion rate. But there's a problem. These two methods do not align, as local measurements suggest the universe is expanding faster than CMB data indicates. This discrepancy has left scientists scrambling to understand why the results differ. One possible explanation is that we may have misinterpreted the data or there could be unknown factors influencing the measurements. The challenge lies in understanding these differences and determining whether they are due to observational errors, limitations in our measurement techniques, or if there is something more profound at play in the physics of the universe. This uncertainty has led to a re-evaluation of the underlying assumptions that guide cosmological research. The James Webb Space Telescope is offering a new way to explore these questions, revealing parts of space never before observed. Initially, scientists hoped the telescope's data would help clarify the Hubble constant, but the first set of findings revealed unexpected results that challenge previous assumptions. This raises an important question. Could this new data provide a fresh perspective on the universe? It may force us to rethink what we know about its workings. We might even uncover new particles or forces, or perhaps dark energy. The mysterious force driving the universe's accelerated expansion needs to be reconsidered. Scientists are now contemplating whether the discrepancies observed in the Hubble constant might be linked to previously unknown aspects of dark energy or dark matter. The discovery of these unexpected results underscores the complexity of cosmology and highlights the importance of new technological advancements like the James Webb Space Telescope, in pushing the boundaries of our knowledge. The data from the telescope may eventually lead to new theories of the universe, reshaping the way we think about space, time, and the fundamental forces that govern everything. Each new discovery forces us to adjust our understanding of space. For example, the discovery of the CMB in 1965 was a crucial piece of evidence supporting the Big Bang Theory. Before this, 
scientists thought the universe would continue to expand indefinitely at a constant rate. However, the 1990s revealed that the universe is actually accelerating in its expansion, largely due to dark energy. Every time we uncover new information, we compare it with existing knowledge, constantly refining our understanding of the universe. This process is vital because, without it, cosmology would fail to progress, and we wouldn't develop the better tools necessary to explore space further. The recognition of dark energy revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos, showing that there were unseen forces influencing the universe's expansion. As technology improves and more data becomes available, we continue to refine and sometimes overturn our previous theories. This constant process of discovery and rethinking is what makes cosmology such a dynamic and exciting field. New instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope are essential for uncovering these hidden aspects of the universe, and they promise to lead to even more groundbreaking revelations. The mystery surrounding dark energy and dark matter remains a major topic of interest for scientists worldwide. Tension exists in how we measure the distribution of matter in space, which is key to understanding the structure of the universe and how it has evolved. In some areas, galaxies cluster together, while in others, they are more spread out. Scientists use different techniques to measure these variations, including gravitational lensing, where galaxy clusters bend light from distant galaxies. This phenomenon helps scientists infer the presence of dark matter which doesn't emit light and is therefore invisible. They also study the CMB, which has traveled for 13.8 billion years, to understand how irregularities in the early universe shaped its current form. By studying these cosmic imprints, researchers hope to uncover clues about the distribution of dark matter, which remains one of the universe's most elusive components. However, the data collected doesn't always match the larger-scale irregularities observed in the universe today. This discrepancy raises questions about the early universe's uniformity and challenges our current understanding of how matter and energy were distributed shortly after the Big Bang. The answer to these questions could reveal new, unexpected aspects of the universe and help explain why certain cosmic phenomena behave the way they do. However, the CMB data doesn't fully align with the large-scale irregularities observed in the universe today. This suggests that the distribution of matter in the early universe may have been more uniform than we previously thought, a finding at odds with what we observe through gravitational lensing. This discrepancy raises further questions about dark matter and its role in the universe. Rice and his team have been investigating whether errors in the Hubble Space Telescope's measurements could explain this mismatch, but the new data from the James Webb Space Telescope shows similar deviations, adding to their concerns. This raises the possibility that the universe's structure may be far more complex than our models suggest. The new observations suggest that we might be overlooking important factors or that our models for understanding cosmic evolution are incomplete. Rice and his team are now reassessing their previous work, using the sharper observations from the Webb Space Telescope to reevaluate their conclusions. The telescope's unprecedented ability to study the universe in infrared wavelengths is allowing scientists to probe deeper into space and investigate cosmic phenomena with greater precision, potentially uncovering answers to long-standing questions about the fundamental nature of dark matter and the structure of the cosmos. According to Rice, there seems to be a fundamental flaw in our understanding of the universe, and this issue might lie somewhere between the two sets of observations. The sharp infrared capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope allow us to probe deeper into space with greater precision than ever before. Both dark matter and dark energy remain largely mysterious, yet they form a significant portion of the universe. While black holes have long been the explanation for certain gravitational effects, interest is growing in how dark matter and dark energy could influence cosmic phenomena. As scientists continue to study these enigmatic components, New theories are emerging that may eventually lead to breakthroughs in our understanding of how the universe works. These phenomena are central to understanding the structure and evolution of the universe. And as technology continues to improve, we may gain new insights into their nature. The role of dark matter and dark energy in cosmic events like galaxy formation and the expansion of the universe is still poorly understood but the data collected by the Webb Space Telescope is a significant step toward shedding light on these mysteries. As we continue to uncover new insights, we must reconsider everything we thought we knew. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section, and if you enjoyed the video, 
Don't forget to like and subscribe.